What's going on everybody? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today I brought my 2001 Chevrolet Tahoe and we're going to be upgrading the headlights. We're going to be using the 9005 LED Extreme headlights. This is going to be a major upgrade to your incandescent bulbs. Whether you're replacing your working OEM bulbs or you just have one that went out and you want to upgrade. LEDs are the way to go. One, they're gonna last longer. Two, they're gonna be a lot brighter. And three, they're gonna make your vehicle look a lot newer. My standard bulbs are extremely yellow and gross. This is an older vehicle, an 01. But with these lights, whenever you're heading down the road, people are gonna think it's new. One thing I really like about the LEDs compared to the halogen bulbs or some HID bulbs is we don't have any lag. It's just gonna be putting out about 4,500 lumens immediately. And I really like that, especially if you're switching from high to low, you're not gonna have that lag at all. And this is gonna be six and a half K when it comes to the light. So it's white, it's not blue, and it's not yellow like you see here. I really like the newer look, cause one, it's a lot brighter and it just doesn't look as old as the original headlights are but it is gonna be about five times brighter than a 35 watt HID system and a lot brighter than the halogen bulb. So this is definitely the route to go. So as you can see, this is just with the standard light bulb. Doesn't really light up a whole lot, but then when I undo this and cover up the other one, it definitely gives you an idea of how much brighter this is gonna be. And I'm actually just covering this up with my back and I can feel a lot more heat coming off the incandescent bulb. So that is also cool because heat means loss of voltage and it's just a little bit better for your electrical system and your vehicle. Super quick and easy install. It's just plug and play. You don't have to splice into any of the wires or anything like that. It took me maybe 30 minutes to get a lot more brightness out of my headlights. So if you stick around, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So we're gonna have the LEDs right here. The cool thing about these LEDs is they are gonna be cooling. So they have a nice little fan just to make sure they don't overheat because they push out a lot of juice. So that's always nice, it's gonna protect itself, but also it's gonna protect your vehicle from any codes. And that's where this comes in. This is a anti-flicker harness. So if you have any error codes in the past, whenever you switch out bulbs, sometimes it says that there's not a bulb in there, yada, yada, yada. If you experience that or any type of flickering, that is what this is going to look like. So once you get everything all laid out and familiarize yourself with it all, we can proceed. All the wires are nice and concealed and we do have aluminum housings on everything that's not gonna be covering the wires. So everything's gonna be aluminum. We don't have to worry about it rusting away over time. And it does have a really good fit when it comes to the connection points. We have a little rubber piece here. It will make sure that no water is gonna get in there. So these are for your high beams. So I do recommend you going into your vehicle and flickering them just to make sure that you're gonna be replacing the right bulb. So once we figure out where the high beams are, we can go ahead and remove our headlight. So then we can get started. Headlights are gonna vary from vehicle to vehicle, but on our 01 Chevy Tahoe, all you gotta do is just take these little rods out, just like this, twist them, pull them up. That's all we really need to do. And then this should pop right out. It's gonna catch a little bit on this little trim piece. So just be gentle with it. It will come just like that. And then what we wanna do is we can rotate our lights that are there. And remove them. It's a simple twist. Don't use a whole lot of force. They'll come out it's just kind of an awkward angle. Just like that. And you can set the headlight to the side for now. And while we're here, what you want to do is be super gentle and kind of pull up on these so we can get this out. And this is going to be a plug which is compatible with our harness. So now what we want to do is take our anti-flicker harness and we're going to connect it. We want to make sure that everything's lined up positive, positive, negative, negative. And that is good. And then we can take our other harness like this 
and they're both going to have a positive and negative but obviously the little pin here and this little clip are going to line up so just make sure that that works for you and now that that's out I'm just going to kind of tuck this back for now because now what we can do is grab our headlight over here and we want to make sure it's upright we want to put it in the right hole but the cool thing about this is we can rotate it 365 degrees. So you can either have it go in like this, rotate like this, where the LEDs are pointing up and down, or you can change the beam direction by putting it in like this and then rotating it to have the LEDs facing right and left. That is all up to you, and that's gonna basically come down to you driving around, seeing what you like and which one you don't. So I'm just gonna go ahead and have it to where it's gonna be facing up and down inserts like that once we get it all the way in there rotate it just like the factory bulb when we took it out so once that's done now I'm just gonna take all this excess and clean it up a bit there is some double-sided tape that comes with the kit so you can either do that or you can screw it in to wherever looks best for you once we have our headlight installed close the hood and I'm gonna flip the switch. I did it earlier and it is crazy the difference that you see. Obviously right here, it looks a lot better than the incandescent bulb. It's an older car, but it has the newer light look and I really like that. This is hard to look at, that I can look at it all day. But if you look on the wall, you can definitely see the difference in colors. But now I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off and see how much brighter it really is. So here we go. <laughs> And that is a ridiculous difference. As you can see, obviously it's white compared to yellow, gross looking, but look how bright it is compared to the other one. I will definitely be able to see the deer a little bit sooner than I used to. Now that we have the driver's side done, I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side so you guys can see what it looks like all together. And now with both of them on, everything is nice and bright just to give you an idea of what an incandescent bulb looks like compared to this that's my normal bulbs and this is the led bulbs it looks a lot better and i'm very satisfied my final thoughts about these headlights i'm a big car guy one i love the look of them two it's just going to keep me safe i live on a couple back roads there's a lot of deer all the time and with this i'm going to be able to see a little bit farther so I won't hit a deer. A little bit of money now is gonna save you a lot in the long run, especially if it's gonna avoid hitting a deer or whatever else it may be. I love the look. It makes an older car look newer, and I would definitely recommend it. One thing I would recommend, if you guys to keep an eye on that wall, if we're doing the high beams, highly recommend doing the low beams because that just looks weird. So we do have the low beam kit. They're gonna be basically the same exact thing and they're gonna install the exact same way. So while you're in there, might as well just do it twice. So you have both high beams and low beams. Well, that was pretty simple and I'm extremely pleased with the result. So that was it for a look at the 9005 LED Extreme headlights.